Good morning, muchachos. Good morning. Good morning. So today is an exciting day. It is our very first doctor's appointment for baby. baby. It is, so to say, the January 24th. So you guys aren't going to see this until after I do the pregnancy announcement and all of that, which I don't even know when we're going to do it. Um, but I still wanted tomorrow. to, tomorrow, <laughs> but I still wanted to capture this. Alondra is here with us. It is Monday. Her school got closed down for five days because um, of, you know, everything going on. So um, mm. she has to come with us. Thankfully, I called, I know Alondra's super excited to actually go to the appointment, which I'm excited too for her to be able to go and, and see. I mean, she's never been able to. Um, so I think it's exciting. Um, and then I did call and ask like, hey, you know, can she come? And they said yes. So luckily all of us get to go like one big happy family and see the baby. So our appointment's at nine, it's 8.39. Um, I'm excited. I don't know why, like I'm nervous. Uh, and I do feel nauseous. I, I felt nauseous yesterday and I felt nauseous today. And I have not felt nauseous at all this entire pregnancy. So I feel like Maybe it's just nerves. I think it's and... gonna be a boy. <laughs> you think it's gonna be a boy? Okay, well, we're not gonna find out at this appointment, but I don't know if it's just nerves or I don't know what it is, but I don't know, yeah, I am a little bit nervous. Like, and I know this is like silly to think, but like they'll just look in my belly and they'll be like, you know, oh yeah, nothing's there. I'd be like, what do you mean nothing's there? So I don't know. Also too, I feel like it comes into play a lot because of everything we went through with last pregnancy. <sighs> I feel like that too explains a lot of Edom and I's like nerves and stuff like that. But we're still just so obviously excited over the moon. It feels really weird talking about the pregnancy because I have not talked about the pregnancy at all in any of the videos. I do wanna do like a sit down, like pregnancy update. So from four weeks to I guess eight weeks. Today I'm technically eight weeks, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm eight weeks and four days. So we'll see too if they change my due date or if they change how far along I am because I remember that sometimes they change it when they measure the baby just to like see. So I guess we'll find out. But as of right now, according to everything, eight weeks and four days and due date is September 1st. So I guess we will see if that changes once we get inside. But anyways, I'm excited. Are we ready to go inside family? Mm -hmm. Are we ready to see our baby? Okay. <laughs> Our appointment is done. Holy cow, is it really 1022? We were in there for over an hour. Wow, it was a longer appointment. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be short or long, but it makes sense that it would be long because, yes baby, because it's the first. Um, we got but we got pictures and we got to hear the baby's heartbeat. I cried, I didn't think we were gonna get to hear the heartbeat or even see it, but you could see it flickering. Um, and then we got to hear it twice and it was just so it's exciting. Just one baby, yeah. It's just one baby, that's right. No twins or triplets, sorry my love. But how cool was that for you to see the baby? That was cool. The heartbeat was super loud that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, on the- Because it was so loud. On it the ultrasound? So, 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 so loud, it was like- But what did you think seeing your baby? What did it look like to you? So wait, give me the single click. So the um, let me see, let me see this one right here. Right. So you see that big circle like right there with right. like the black thing in it. Uh huh. It's a giant eyeball. No, it's not an eyeball. <laughs> it's a giant frog eyeball. Oh, oh my gosh! But I told you it wouldn't look like a baby baby like how you see. You know, like but was it things. cool or interesting for you though? Yeah. Yeah, did you like it? Yeah, I'm glad you got to be there, mamas. So it was a really good appointment. I asked a lot of questions. I asked about seeing a chiropractor, what they thought about that. She thought it was a great idea. And then <laughs> talked a lot about, you know, everything with trisomy 18, everything like that. So I do for two things, because I'm 35, I'm high risk. I'm like double the high risk. So because I'm 35, and when I deliver, I'll be 36, I'm high risk. And then also because our last baby was trisomy 18, I am high risk as well. Because um, even though genetically, Yadam and I had nothing genetically wrong, I guess is the word, um, we still have a chance 
that it could happen again because we've already ha had it happen one time. So um, because of both of those reasons, we have to go to maternal fetal, is she taking her pants off? Oh. The girl in front of us. Sorry guys, got distracted by the people in front of me. It looked like this girl had like, was taking her pants off. Anyways though, um, but yeah, so I have to call, she said give it like 24 hours cause she has to put in the referral. And at 12 weeks, I will have to go to the, well at 12 weeks I'll have two appointments. I'll have to go to the maternal fetal, maternal fetal health, um, I think is what it's called. Hello. To do a, hi baby, to do a full scan. Um, so that way they can do like, oh, you shocked me. Yeah, they yeah. can do like genetic testing and they'll know what to look for genetically um, and things like that. So I will go there at 12 weeks and then I go there again at 20 weeks for like the full anatomy scan. But they'll also like decide what blood work needs to be done um, when I go. And then I just scheduled my 12 week appointment with the um, midwife. I don't know if I said this, I'm seeing a midwife. Um, but yeah, so I scheduled my, what that doctor is, the lady that was there. Um, and then I already have my 12 week appointment, which I told her I wanted Thursday or Friday morning, but she didn't give me the date. She said it would be on it, oh, I would be on the receipt, which would be emailed. Okay. I'm already getting pregnancy brain, I guess. But, um, anyway, so I have that appointment and the second appointment will be blood work with them and then another ultrasound, but <laughs> on <laughs> tired, but on the belly. But, all right, so that's how the appointment went. We're gonna go inside now to Target. We gotta get a few things, but um, Target. everything went amazing and I, I feel a lot, lot better. I mean, I know we still have 12 week appointment, but I just, I feel I, a million one, times this better. This one looks like it's um. Yeah, and then this one you can see like the little <laughs> arms and the little <laughs> legs, remember? <laughs> I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy bear. I'm a gummy, 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 gummy bear. Are we gonna call the baby gummy bear? Is that's that what we're gonna call? Name. Okay, that's gonna be the baby's name, gummy bear. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're gonna call baby gummy bear. <laughs> but it's born, but that's all actually gonna be the real name. No, it won't be the real name. It'll be but the nickname. Yeah. For now. Name. Okay. For now. I'm a gummy bear. Oh I'm lord. Okay, so we stopped, got some. I was gonna say breakfast, but I guess it's lunch. Chick Fil A. Hi, God, we it's went to, cold. We went to, we to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we did. Mm, and filled our bellies. bellies. And I have, I have an Oreo with whipped cream milkshake. Uh-huh, yummy, yummy. But now we are actually at Nebraska Furniture Mart. There is this bed that I have been wanting for, I don't know, like a year, two years. It's been a really long time. And they yeah, finally it? have it on display. Like they always, actually they didn't even have it in stock. Like I think when I was originally looking to order it, you had to wait like a couple of months. Where are you going little one? You had to wait like a couple of months um, for it to even like come in stock. So they do actually have it on display now and they do have it in stock as well. I don't think we're ordering it today or buying it today, but, but just to- Oh, maybe it's on sale, but we just definitely want to like look at it since we were kind of like close to Nebraska Furniture Mart. We figured let's go inside since, you know, Alondra's not in school. We have nothing else to do today. I let's go and take a look. Of... You love the smell of what? Yours. Ooh, it does smell good in here. Mm. Oh, made our way to the baby section somehow. So crazy, like all of this stuff we're going to have to look at oh my gosh here's the bed frame I've been eyeing but not this color they don't have the color that I like or that like I want in stock but at least that's the frame but the color is like gonna be like a dark bronze color so that's basically the, the color bed? no this is not the bed this is just the color of the bed Ugh. no I don't know what that is probably just a cushion but this is the frame though. They have it on display in white and in, I don't even know what color that is. We're home. Well, to be honest, we've been home for a while. We did not order the bed or anything. We just wanted to visually look at it in person because I've always just seen it online. Um, but it's 218. I, can I blame pregnancy brain yet? <laughs> but I totally forgot to edit um, a video that would typically go up on Monday. So I just got done finishing editing all of that. Um, how many more bags do you guys have on the Lego set? Oh, we're doing different colors because oh, it's 
218. Oh yeah, Alondra has dance tonight, so at five. So, and they are working on a Lego set. Um, she got it for her birthday, but there's a lot of bags. Like I did one bag with her, and then this is like the other one. I don't know, it has a ton of bags. So I figured I would show you guys what I got from the doctor's office. They gave me a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't remember getting like a goodie bag, do you? Remember getting like me getting a goodie bag? Or, I mean, well, I don't even know if it's like a goodie bag. Let's just, I figured, let's just open it up together. This is like not a good angle. Like I'm like literally between the chair and the couch, but I just have nowhere else to go. But um, I did get this like book. It's called Great Expectations, A Guide for Prenatal Care. It's from the actual, like they have like their name all over it. So I guess they had it printed, but it's just like a really good guide about like travel and work, smoking or vaping, um, like like how much you should weigh and stuff like that. And like tracking your weight and skin to skin, cutting the corn, like v -Bax, which did I even talk to you guys about that at all? I don't even know, but um, I get, I feel, I, I don't know, I feel like I should like kind of like rewind and tell you guys how my appointment went. I'll do that after I show you guys everything. Um, and then also too, like the back page that she showed me, um, really great like medications that I can take during pregnancy when, if and when I get sick. Like things for like nausea, indigestion, constipation, sore throat, things like that. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's perfect because I, do you know that I, there's like a lot of things you're not allowed to take when you're pregnant? So anyway, it's just like a, a little helpful book, which I like. Oh, look at this, fatigue. That is me so much right now. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell at all in any of my vlogs. I guess this is technically like my first pregnancy vlog. Well, my first pre like vlog being out pregnant. Like I've vlogged since being pregnant because we found out on Christmas day, but I haven't told you guys yet, and so I'm just like keeping it under wraps. So I'm curious, have any of you guys known or suspected that I was pregnant? Be honest, comment down below and let me know. Did any of you suspect it? Um, okay, what is this? Um, Countdown, the big day. It's like a little pregnancy magazine. And then on the back, it just has a bunch of like, cards and stuff, little like pamphlet stuff. So I guess I'll have to like go in here and see everything that it is. It's probably like little like flyer stuff to like sign up for things I'm sure. This is, I do not know. Looks like medicine. A one day start, oh, a one day starter pack. Three gummies. Oh, prenatal vital nutrition with iron. Three gummies though and it's only for one day? That's a lot, right, in a prenatal? Can't even open this, it must be like really childproof lock <laughs> for me. Um, okay, so Vital Full Gummies. Never heard of that brand, but I can always look into it. Oh, here's another one. Vital Full Ultra, a prenatal supplement Number one prescribed prenatal. Oh, this is like an a prescri a pres prescribed prescribed. How do you guys say it? prescribed? Prescribed. Prescribed. How do you say it? Prescribed. Prescribed. It's not prescribed because it pre says pre p r e prescribed, right? Prescribed. Pre pres prescribed. I don't know, y'all. But um, okay, so this is a sample. Three soft gel capsules, so this is like a pill form. I didn't even know that they like prescribed, prescribed. Y'all, don't come for me, okay? Those kind of things. Um, and then two more things. One more pilly pill. Infamom prenatal, used before and during pregnancy. Is it Infamom? Isn't that like Infamil? Right? I don't know. Well, Infamom, so another like prenatal to try out. And then this right here, Join Simulac. So, Promise Project. Oh, it's a nice little canvas tote. 
says hashtag promises project. What is it? Probably formula in here or something. Oh yeah, a bunch of different stuff. Yep, so there is a can of formula. If all goes well, I'm breastfeeding like I did with Alondra. But again, um, there's no guarantee in that, but if all goes well, that's what I will be doing. And, oh cool, breast milk storage bottles. That's awesome, definitely we'll keep that. What does this say? Congratulations! Oh, it has those like, enclosed our gift cards and proof of activation. I don't know, there's like Canopy Couture in here, custom snappies, baby leggings, like different things like that. It's actually the same that's with the magazine thing. And then there's like a bunch of little coupons and stuff like that in here. So, um, anyways, yeah, that is everything that I got from my midwife, and I thought that was like really sweet. Just like a little thing to get, but the I'm most excited about the book. Um, so that's definitely something I will be looking over because I am one that likes to read and research and look up all kinds of things. That's just like how I am. But um, yeah, so at the appointment, like I told you guys, we got to hear the baby's heartbeat, and my mom asked me like, was it fast? And I think so. Did you think it was fast, babe? Yeah, but it's normal. But yeah, like, but you know how they say like if it's like over so, like if it's super fast, that means it's a girl. And if it's like a lower heartbeat, then that means it's a boy. She didn't tell us that, what is it, beats per minute or something like that? Or beats per second? She didn't tell us like the beats. So I wouldn't be able to like know if it's like fast, like that sort of beat. But honestly, I wasn't even expecting for her to play the heartbeat or to even hear it. So it was a, a pleasant surprise and she did do it twice for us. I, I think I told you guys that. Um, but yeah, so at that, at the appointment, you know, we went over everything, background history. I do need to contact my OB from Minnesota when I gave birth to Alondra because they do want all that information, especially since I had a cesarean with her. They want all of the medical stuff because they are going to allow me at this point, uh, to do a VBAC. So if you don't know what a VBAC is, it's vaginal birth after cesarean. So I had a C-section, which wasn't planned. It was emergency C-section with Alondra. Um, and I want to give birth vaginally. It's just something I've always wanted to do. I don't want to do a C-section unless I have to. And there's some places that once you have a C-section, it's always a C-section, but thankfully this place will allow me to potentially do a VBAC. Um, so they do want all the medical information, so I need to get all of that and see like why. I mean, I told them, but like they want like the medical stuff to see why I had to get one. Um, but I'm very excited about the opportunity and chance. I'm also not gonna get like super excited like it's for sure because I know there's a chance that I could have to get a C-section. I mean, over time, you know, as I come to more appointments, they'll be able to see like my body and my pelvis and things like that and see um, how everything is. Um, but also too, they do not induce, which I am all for. I, I, this is like no offense if you've ever been induced, okay? I'm not judging you, but I am a firm believer, like let the baby come when the baby comes. And I personally want my baby to be to 40 weeks. That's just me, cause that's like full, full term, you know? So that's just like how I, I feel about it. So I'm so glad that they don't induce because I don't want to be induced. Um, so she did say that, um, you know, if I hit the 41 week mark and my body does not go into labor, then I will have to be scheduled for a C-section. So there could be two ways for me to get a C-section or I guess three, I could go naturally into birth on my own like I have before, um, but say something happens again, the baby is stuck again. Who, I mean, I hope not because Alondra was stuck. Um, but if something like that, then I would have to get you know a you know a C-section you know while delivering if, if they feel that's the need. Um, I could also get a C-section if I hit 41 weeks and my body has not gone into labor on its own. Then they will have to do a C-section. Um, and then also I could need a C-section if while we're going to more and more appointments with my body and things, um, if they feel it's what's best and the safest thing. Because also I do have a scar there. Um, and if they feel like that's what's the best thing medically for me to do and the safest thing for me and baby is a C-section, then I'll do a C-section. So obviously, if I need to get one, I will get one. 
but I'm very excited that I even get the chance or the opportunity to potentially do a V-back. It's not just like a hard no type of thing. So I'm excited about that. And I don't think I mentioned that earlier in the car. Um, yeah, if there's anything I didn't mention, I mean, if you guys have questions, I guess you can leave them down below. Um, but I am going to do a week, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do the, I'll probably do the weekly updates after this vlog. Um, I'll probably do like a four week to like an eight week or nine week update, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I will need to call tomorrow to make that maternal fetal, maternal fetal, the paper's over there somewhere, um, appointment, so I will call and then I, I didn't get the email with my next appointment. However, I know she said the 24th, cause I said I want the, a Thursday or a Friday. And she's like, okay, that would be like the 24th. And I was like, yeah, as long as it's Thursday or Friday and like morning would be best cause Alondra's in school. Um, and Thursday, Fridays, like Edom will be off. So, and I know she said like, do you want 8.30? And I was like, oh, do you have anything later than that? Because she has school and she said, I have a 9.10 and I said 9.10 would be perfect. So I'm assuming our appointment is gonna be February 24th at 9, 10 a.m. because the 24th happens to be a Thursday. And I would be, technically I would be 13 weeks. Like, because I'm gonna be a Thursday. Thursday is a new week for me. So technically that would be 13 weeks. So I don't know why I'm not going like the week of the 17th. But on the paper it said to schedule it four weeks from now. And if you look four weeks from now, one, two, three, four, that would be the week of the 21st and that 24th is a Thursday. So anyways, um, that's fine. But I will need to make my other appointment around 12 weeks, they said. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, and then at that appointment, I'll be doing blood work and see the baby again. And Alondra nicknamed the baby. She said the baby is gonna be called Gummy Bear. And I don't know if you guys know that song, I'm a gummy bear, oh, I'm a gummy bear. Oh yeah, I told you guys this. I'm sorry I keep repeating myself. You guys, I'm just so excited. I am on cloud nine, you guys. Try not to get emotional, but I just never thought that, like, I gave up hope. So, I'm just really excited, so. Yeah, but, okay, try not to get emotional. I'm just really, really, really happy. But all right, I'm gonna zip it so I can stop myself from getting like more emotional, but you know, I'm gonna say it again for the hundredth time. I'm just so excited and so happy and just on cloud nine and I still, I still can't even believe it. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead. Honestly, I'm, I kinda wanna take a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, so I think I'm gonna just like lay down and just chillax for a little bit. Alondra does have um, dance at five. It's a long day today. It's like from five to 6.30. So she does have dance. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to like relax until we have to get ready and head to that.
is the next day. I completely forgot to end the vlog, so my bad. Um, I forgot to like kind of vlog like I feel like all together. Um, so we went to Alondra's dance. So that was like till 6.30. Then we came home. We had one cookie delivery um, to our friends. So we did that. Then we came home, had dinner. And um, I ended up going to bed at like 8.30. I knocked out at the couch and then um, they woke me up. And then I went and took myself to bed at 8.30. So I went to bed really early. I was just so tired. I was exhausted. So... That was basically my night, but I did get the appointment for the maternal fetal. Um, so they call it a first trimester screen. So that's what they call it. And that'll be like the ultrasound and everything. So I have that um, the same week as my 12 week OB appointment. So I go Tuesday for the ultrasound and then I go Thursday for my 12 weeks. So that will just be like a week of blood work and a week of appointments but they wanted to see me um before i went to my 12-week ob appointment so um anyways though so i got both of those like done and scheduled cause, well i had the other one done and scheduled but i was able to find out what my appointment was i like logged onto my account and i could like see what it was so i have those like all set up so i feel good that like i have those like ready to go um, and then I have everything for my old OB when we lived in Minnesota. Like I found the paper and I printed it and filled it out and I called them. But of course they only accept fax, which is so frustrating that like doctors only accept faxes, um, for the medical disclosure or medical, what is it called? Medical, the medical release. So because I don't have a fax machine. So I wish like I could scan it and email it, but I don't know. I mean, I get it, rules are rules, it's fine, but I'm just like, oh, I don't have a fax machine. For my other two that I had to do to like get them faxed, I actually had an eye exam and I had the papers with me because I went to the bank because I thought banks would let you do it. And like, I went to the bank that I actually bank at and they're like, no, it's only for like us. We don't allow like other people to use it. And I was like, okay, fine. Um, and then I was like, ah, oh, I guess I'm just going to go to UPS because it's like a dollar a page. But I had to fax like six pages. So I was like, oh, this is annoying. But I had my eye exam. So I was like, ah, oh, I'll go to my eye exam. After my eye exam, I'll just like go to like UPS because it was like really close. And so I was there. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to just ask these ladies, like, if they have a fax machine. And if they do, will they fax my papers for me? And I asked them. And they said yes. See, I have no problem asking questions. Like, Iran sometimes is like, I can't believe you're going to ask that. But like... It usually works out pretty well. So um, they let me fax it. So um, Alondra doesn't have any like appointments or anything. Not appointments. Oh my God. Any activities today? She has Girl Scouts, but like that's like not at like a facility or anything. How to, exp I don't know. That, I feel like that doesn't make sense. But anyways, it's like at someone's house. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe when she goes to tumbling, ask them like, hey, <laughs> Do you guys have a fax machine? May I fax this one paper? So, I mean, if worse comes worse, I'll just go to UPS because it's just one paper. It's just, it's just a dollar. But um, anyways, though, that is kind of like everything. And I'm just going to end the vlog because it's already the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and just end it here. So that is like everything for my first pregnancy vlog, my first appointment vlog. Like, I can't believe like we got to hear the heartbeat. I really wish um, we could have like recorded that to have, you know, that like to be able to have that and, you know, go back and hear it and stuff like that and listen to it. So I really wish we could have had that. So at my next appointment, I'm going to ask them if we can. So that way, um, you know, we can have it because I feel like that's just so special hearing your baby's heartbeat and stuff. So anyways, though, I'm going to end it here. I know I already said that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, muchachos.